africains de la francophonie pour l'océan indien. Euh, je couvre cinq pays de la région et dans euh, Maurice. Et euh, c'était un devoir pour moi, c'est en même temps un honneur et un privilège de venir rencontrer les autorités euh, mauriciennes pour me présenter, notamment sans confronter le changement climatique, euh, le tourisme. Prime Minister Tishok of Ireland, I want to send this very special message to everyone in Virad, in Malwin, in Maharashtra, and also across India. In Ireland and India alike, we're trying to deal with an enormous challenge, that is the coronavirus pandemic. It's affecting different countries in different ways, but it's affecting every country. Like in India, people in Ireland have been subjected to a lot of restrictions, social restrictions designed to make sure that the virus doesn't spread. And I know how difficult that is in India as well as Ireland. We're also ramping up testing, ramping up contact tracing, trying to develop new vaccines, new medicines, also trying to protect our healthcare staff from getting affected. And I know this is going to be a big struggle for everyone around the world, impacting not only on our health, uh, but also on our, on our economy and our livelihoods. But history tells us that any plague can be overcome, any pandemic beaten, any virus put back in its box. And history tells us that economies, even when they face a very severe blow, they can recover again if governments make the right decisions and people and businesses work hard. So this is a difficult time, but we have every reason to be optimistic about the future. And I want you to know that my thoughts and prayers and those of the people of Ireland are with the people of India as well. Thank you. And good luck. Your Excellency <clears throat> Sri Narendra Modi Ji, Prime Minister of India. Your Excellency Dr. Tedros Adhanom Gebre Jesus, Director General of the World Health Organization. Your Excellency Sri Sarbananda Sunawal, Honorable Union Minister of Ayush and Ports, Shipping and Waterways. Your Excellency Sri Bhupendra Bhai Patel, Honorable Chief Minister of Gujarat, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, namaskar. A Mari Gujarat Rajini Peli Mulakat Che. Ane Pradhan Mantri Sri Narendra Modi ne na Om Agne Vrata Pate Vratam Karishami Tachakeyam Tanme Radhya Tam Idam Aham Anitrat Satyam. I'm very proud of visiting my father's land as Prime Minister and especially as the first Prime Minister of Indian origin in the European Union. As you understand, this visit he has a strong emotional side and a personal motivation. As a person of Indian origin, I'm honored by the invitation of Prime Minister Narendra, Narendra Modi to pay state visit to India. This is not just one more visit for a foreign country. I will have high-level political contacts in Delhi meet the Indian diaspora tomorrow in the Pravazi Bharatiya Divas in Bangalore and participate in the vibrant Gujarat summit and naturally visit Goa. I hope my visit will lay foundation for robust and forward-looking 21st century partnership between India and Portugal. Now is time to enhance our relations and extend them to a strategic partnership with ambitious targets 
in the new cooperation areas. Our old friendship claims a new partnership. This is TTT Live Online. I'm Mahalia Joseph Wharton, and we are bringing you coverage of the departure of Guyana's President Mohamed Irfan Ali. getting ready for the presidential salute as well as Trinidad and Tobago's national anthem and of course the national anthem for Guyana. tradition, it is about culture, it is about an age-old concept that transcends cultures and communities. To consider the duality of life, the balance between darkness and light, to celebrate the light, elevating us out of the darkness. Very special for me to be here, particularly on the eve of Janamashmi. Can I just start by paying tribute to my colleagues and friends who are here from your local council and your local MP, Oliver, because they do an extraordinary job. <laughs> hey! now, I, I, I will just say this. So I, I've had, uh, it's been a very, it's been a tough campaign over the past few weeks and I've been giving it everything I've got, but at times of the most difficulty, what Akshatha has done for me is to give me the teachings of the Gita. And she has done it. She has done it on the phone. She has done it by message. But it is the Gita that has given me strength over the past few weeks to keep going and to keep fighting for the things that I believe in. And all of you, by supporting this Mandar, especially over the next two days, will provide that same strength, encouragement, and inspiration to tens of thousands of people. And so from me to you, a heartfelt thank you for everything you do, the work and message and...